Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to customize app icons on your iPad on iPadOS 16. Every year they change something just a little bit that makes the previous year's method not work. So yeah, in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at iPadOS 16 that's now released and seeing how you can customize app icons on there. Okay, so let's take a look at how you can do this. Um, so here you can see my home screen and um, I don't have any custom app icons yet. Um, so how you're gonna go about this is you're gonna need an app called Siri Shortcuts, which is this app right here. Um, it is available on your iPad by default, but if it's not on your iPad, you can just search it in the app store and then you'll find it. It. Um, and then you'll just need a pack of icons that you're going to use. My pack is from Graffiti. They have a bunch of cool digital content on their site and the app icons are very nice on there. So yeah, I'll have a link to that in the description box below if you want to go check that out. Um, but yeah, that is what I'm going to be using for my app icons, but you can use any pack that you want. So once you have all that, you just go into the Siri Shortcuts app. Here you can see all my shortcuts um, and we're going to click on the plus button in the top right, right here. So click on that and then you'll see it brings up this menu. Then you'll see on the right we have a bunch of things that it gives you that you can use. So the one we're going to be using is this one here called Open App. But if it doesn't give you that option in the next action suggestion, what you can do is you can just search it um, here in the search bar and type in Open App. And then it will be here in the scripting section, open app. So click on that. Um, and then this is what it looks like. As you can see, the app is kind of grayed out. The app word app is grayed out. That's because there is going to be where you're going to select which app you want to open. So I'm just going to click on that and choose an app. The app I'm going to be customizing in this video is GoodNotes. So I'm just going to click on GoodNotes. So now it says open GoodNotes. And that's basically all it is that you need to do here. And now to actually add this to your home screen and actually customize the app icon, what you need to do is you have to click on the share option here and then you're gonna click on add to home screen. So you're gonna click on that and then it's gonna bring up this pop-up menu. And here what you need to do is name your app and also add your custom icon. So here it gives you a little preview. So let's just change the name first. So I'm just gonna type in good notes. Obviously you can type in anything here. It doesn't even have to be the actual app's name. You can get creative with this. And then the last step we need to do is actually customize the icon. And how you do that is you just click on this icon option here and select choose photo or choose file depending on where your photo is located. So my app icon is saved in the choose file because I've saved it in files. But if yours isn't in your camera, I'll just click on choose photo. And here you see this is what my icon now looks like because I uploaded that image. This is what now it's going to look like when we add it to our home screen. So I'm just going to click on add. And now when I go to my home screen, here you can see it laying right there, good notes, and it is saved to my home screen. And now if I tap on it, it's going to open up good notes. Um, now the only bad thing about this is just the fact that it has that Siri shortcuts thing coming up and there is absolutely no way of getting rid of it, which sucks. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry about that. That's just something you're going to have to live with. And a lot of times when I make these videos, a lot of people ask me, but you, I still have my good notes app on my home screen. Now I have two apps. Um, what do I do? It's very easy because now we have the app drawer with iPad. I think they introduced that last year. Um, so it's very easy to resolve that problem. All you need to do is hold down on your iPad screen until it goes into the edit mode. Click on the minus option next to good notes, but don't click on delete app. Just click on remove from home screen. So then you don't have it on your home screen. You can just put your custom app icon in place of that. Um, and the app will reside in your app library where it's basically hidden from view. Um, so that is how you basically work around that issue um, is just click on remove from home screen, but don't delete the app. Otherwise this app shortcut won't work. Um, so it's very easy to do and um, it's how you customize your app icon. So yeah, that is how you customize app icons on your iPad on iPadOS 16. I hope this helped you guys out. It's very easy to do and it adds a lot of customization to your iPad. Um, if you wanna see more videos regarding like customization on iPad, I have a few on widgets and things like that. If you wanna check that out, I'll have that linked in the iTop for you guys to go check out. Um, and I would really appreciate it. But if this video was helpful for you, definitely give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any other questions. Click on the playlist on the screen to see all of my iPad related videos and click on the video to see one of my previously uploaded videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.